<laughs> You're doing awesome. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody to our getting started call. My name is Tish and I am zooming in on this from my home in North Battleford, Saskatchewan, Canada. And my co-host tonight is Lori Knopf. And Lori is an amazing, caring, giving, wonderful leader out of Strathmore, Alberta, Canada. And we're gonna go through some ways that you can get started with your brand new RX business. Maybe you've been in a while, but we want to give you some tips about how you can really do this. So you've just joined. Now what do you do, right? Because you're brand new. You want to meet with the coach. And so that might be who brought you in. It might be who brought them in, but have them connect you to someone who's been in the business for a little while and can help you show you the ropes and what you need to do. And during that time you meet with the coach, you want to set some short-term goals. Now, I say four to six-week goals because you're going to see in a little bit why we say four to six-week goals. A six-month goal, a one-year goal, and a long-term goal because we want you to understand that now that you've joined RX, we want to help you hit some milestones, whatever that might be for you. And this is a long-term build. This isn't a get in, get rich quick. This is a let's build an empire together and work together so that your goals can be achieved. And we want to check your inventory. We want to make sure that you got some of the products that you were really excited to try, that you can build a platform for your story. And you want to use those products because those products are what are going to create your story. Now, Lori, when you joined, did you start using the products right away? Um, when I originally joined with Nucerity, no, I didn't. I just saw one bottle and I thought, oh my gosh, if it does what it says it's going to do, I want to get, I want to do this now. I was like you, I jumped all in. I hadn't tried anything before, but that's why we want to make sure you understand what you have in your hands now. Then we got using the products. I became a rollaholic. Me too. And some people are using the drops with our company now and they're losing inches and pounds and feeling phenomenal and we've got this amazing water bottle and it's bringing great testimonies of people that you know dip right out of a dirty pond and can drink it so you want to be a part of the product and create a story you also want to make your list all right and we're going to talk a little bit later on about your list and where you can maybe put it so you have better follow-up but we want to break it down because to begin with we're just looking for your top four people people that you would love to work with, maybe people who have more contacts than you, who are, you know, just fun to be around, that you want to work around. We also want to set you up on what's called an auto delivery. And we want to set you up because when you're on auto delivery, you get two things. You get a paycheck every week, as long as you're helping your team grow, and you save 15% on your products every 28 days. And we want to set up a daily check-in. Because when I joined, I had so many questions and I was scared to reach out and ask anyone because I would have thought they might have thought I was stupid. But if every day you set up a check-in with your brand new distributor, they can keep a list and then answer those questions every single day. Doesn't that make sense, Lori? Yep, totally right. makes sense. So I'm going to throw this over to you because even though we're in business for ourselves, we do have jobs, don't we? We do. We absolutely do. So our job is to learn. We need to learn about the products, but not every single thing. Sometimes it's a matter of just learning what you like best about it. We need to learn about the compensation plan. Only, in, only deep enough to know how we get started, how we can get paid right away, because you know what? Some of the parts of the pay plan, you won't even understand them if you read about them until you start to get paid on them, then they make sense. And you need to learn how to share. You need to learn by uh, how to share, by listening to other people, by practicing, by sharing your story. Um, you need to learn how to do that because it doesn't come to everybody naturally. It wasn't natural for me. You had to learn. You just had to keep practicing and doing it over and over. And learn to connect. Learn the best way, the comfortable way for you to connect people because the we've learned or heard over and over that your best friends, your people that are closest to you, don't necessarily listen to you. They don't see you as being an expert in what you're talking about. There is no way that anybody in my circle thinks I'm a healthy expert because I've never lived that way before. I've just decided to make a change. Learn to follow up, that's key. Fortune is in the follow up. So we have to learn how to follow up and you have to have it something that's doable in your time frame and in your lifestyle. Learn about the industry. This was huge for me to learn more about the industry and not to be embarrassed about it and to believe that it is a, a worthwhile industry and it, it's where I should be. So learn about the industry. 
from other people, from the people inside our company, from outside people that are telling you this is a viable business. Um, learn about others, learning about other people. I don't know about you guys, but when you've got kids that you're raising, you can get a little bit of a tunnel vision where you're learning only about your kids and what's going to make a difference for them. And you you'd almost need to learn again how to learn for people out, learn about people outside your family um, learn about yourself this is the personal growth um, because I am by no means the same person that joined this company six years ago not even close I didn't recognize the person that I was six years ago and I'm getting happier and happier every day by learning about myself and then you learn to teach and that can be as simple as learning how to read these slides and going on and helping other people start their journey. That's so true. Now our other job is this, we need to share. So when you're ready to share with others, mm -hmm. ask yourself the following questions. Which product do I get most excited about? I know when I first joined, we only had one product. We had Skin Sincerity. And I was so excited because that one bottle could do a million different things to all ages. So what product makes you most excited? How does it make me feel excited? <laughs> it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel passionate. And why is it better than the competition? And I add it in here, or why is there no competition? Because with Skin Sincerity, we don't have competition. There's no peer in the marketplace. And that was one of the reasons it really excited me is I don't like competition. And so why is it right for the person I'm sharing it with? So whatever you're passionate about, figure it out why it might be right for that person. Maybe who I'm gonna share it with has talked about their child having acne. Maybe she's talked about, you know, these eczema patches on her arms that she's been struggling with and they're so itchy. You know, so I wanna know my audience when I'm taking this to share and I want to be authentic because your personal authentic experience is the main thing of what others actually hear. So, let's share some ideas of the fastest way to get information out to all of your friends and family. Lori, do you want to do this one? Sure. Home launch. A home launch is easy. Easy way to, to, to put it out there to as many people as you can all at once and share the information one time. Um, ideal to have an end home launch with some of your top influential people, the people you want to hear about it, the people, the four people that you want to work with, or a list of 10 people that you would like to work with and narrow it down to the four. Sorry, I just have to move my little thingy around. Um, it's your best way to do this as possible and have someone share with your circle what you found. Um, really important to try to have a third party to be the one to share this information with your friends. Your, your job is to invite them and get somebody to help you with that. Um, an example of an invite, phone calls work best. Um, to hear the excitement in your voice. Um, using a quick text to set up a phone call is a really good way to work out the time. Hey, do you have a sec to chat? Um, Brenda, and then you just get on and you're, Brenda, I can't chat long. I'm having a very select few people over on Friday at seven. The reason I'm calling you is to personally invite you since I know we've been talking about retirement and being able to travel and I think I might've found a way. Would you be able to stop by at seven and hear if you think this is our ticket to freedom? I mean, you can change it around to the words that are gonna be you, so that you're not stumbling over it using somebody's word. If there's words that you've never in your entire life used, don't use it. If that's not you, word it around till it feels good and rolls off of your tongue, but make it short. Um, for other invite ideas, ask your coach to help you individualize the IFIT. Get help individualizing it. Um, you know. Like I said, words that you would use, uh, phrasing that you would use, the tone that you would use, the inflection, all of that kind of stuff. It, it, it's from you and it should be from your heart. Absolutely. Now another way is a three-way call or a Zoom. So this is the third party sharing and every time you're introducing this, try to have a third party do it for you. You want to have someone else because no matter how much they love you, they're not going to believe you. So having someone else share the information to your prospects is the key to success. And I learned this the hard way. Sometimes we have to learn the hard way. And then we have to go back to those people who we shared it personally with and say, I completely messed it up for you. Will you listen to it one more time the way it should have been shared and let my friend Lori tell you exactly what's going on because I shouldn't have said a word because I didn't know. And so there's lots of ways that we can repair that. But sometimes you get so excited and we're sharing. So don't do that. So to effectively do this, it's important to learn how to connect and then stay quiet. Now, I put some little point forms here. You want to call someone 
or text them like Lori said and invite somebody to a call. And you want to set it up then with your third party, whoever that might be. So let's say I was calling Lorna. She's my prospect. And I wanted Lori to talk to her. I would invite Lorna and say, Lorna, you know, I would love for you to hear some information. I'm not qualified to do it, but I've got someone that's on standby that can. Can you come on a call in an hour? I've already set it up with Lori. Lori says, absolutely, I can do it in an hour. Now what I'm going to do is when it's time, I'm going to call Lorna and I'm going to say, hey, Lorna, thank you so much. I'm so excited for you to hear Lori. Hold on a minute. I'm going to get her on the other line. I'm going to get a hold of Lori now and I'm going to bring it and connect those calls together. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Lori, I'm so excited to introduce you to Lorna. Lorna has been a great friend of mine. She loves to travel. She spends lots of time at the lake. She's got grandkids and retirement is her thing. And so I would love for you to share a little bit what we have. But Lorna, I want to introduce you to Lori. Lori isn't even on my team. However, she is such a powerful, amazing, strong woman. She saw something in this company that you know, made her decide retirement, traveling around the world, getting rid of all her, her possessions and living a minimalist life is so exciting. And with this business, she can do that all over. So Lori, Lorna, Lorna, Lori, and now I'm going to mute my phone and I'm going to be quiet. Okay. And then Lori's going to take over the call and they're going to talk. And when Lori's done sharing what she needs to share and she's asked Lorna if she has any questions, Lori's going to hand the call back to me and say, Tish, thank you for bringing me on. Nice to meet you, Lorna. I hope you join our company and you see what we see. Have a good day. And she's going to leave. Now, my job is the close. And I'm going to say, oh, my gosh, Lorna, how amazing was that? What did you love? And she's going to share with me. And she might be excited. And I'm going to say at that point, I would just love for you to do this with me. Are you all in? Let's get you started right now. I need to finish closing that invite by saying to her, I want you to join me. And so that's a great way to effectively do a three-way phone call. And then Zoom. You can see how we're on here right now. Zoom is a great way to have a third party. As you can see the body language. You can make eye contact. You can build a better relationship. Now, another third party share is a video. Now, remember when you're sharing a video, this is just an introduction. It's always good to follow up with a live call, a video, whatever it is, to get that third party involved to answer the questions. So there's some ideas on that. Lori, I'm going to let you grab this one if you want. Where can I share? So where are all the places that you can share this, this uh, share information with people to find people to, to share this amazing opportunity? Store, restaurant, sporting event, gym, church, school, holidays, everywhere. Everywhere you are, you're looking for people to have relationships with war and share with them what you found. When, you, when asked what you do for a living, have your little one-liner of what you're going to do. And again, this needs to be your wording and what feels good to you. Um, I have a health and personal care business I run from my home. I get to be with my family and set my own hours. Um, you know what? For me, I have a health and personal care business. I run from my motor home. <laughs> I get to be with my family and set my own hours and my own destination. I have a global business I run from home. I love it because it allows control of my time and gives me the freedom to travel anywhere I want at a discounted price. Um, sometimes just even saying that and having the discounted price, well, how do you get to travel at a discounted price? It's a perfect opportunity to go into more details about our travel rewards program. While sharing about your product experience. So having a product experience, no matter what it is, we all had our stories with, with Skincerity when we started. That was what people wanted to hear. They wanted to hear that somebody, not somebody random had a result. They wanted to hear that the people they know have had a result. So I've been using Slender Eyes and it's really working for me. It's a range of products to help reduce my appetite and increase my metabolism. Plus I eat healthier and have more energy than ever. So mm -hmm. use the real story about what happened to you, whether it's losses in pounds, inches, or just feeling better. I can't believe how well I sleep, how calm I feel, and how I have no more aches, pains, or headaches since I started drinking this amazing pink drink. So just some ideas about what your real, your real uh, testimony is, and keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And sometimes we're just sharing these tips with you just to give you some ideas because when you're brand new, you, you sometimes don't know what to share. I know when I started, people say, what'd you do? You're like, uh, 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 I'm with a company. Oh, what company? 
Uh, it's out of Houston, and I would stutter because I didn't know what to say. I'd get nervous. And so if we're prepared and we get comfortable with what we are and what we do, it comes off the cuff and it flows a lot better. And you're adding intrigue because I never say what company I'm with. I always say I have a global business I get to run from anywhere in the world. I love it. It's fun, right? And they're like, oh, fun. So whatever is comfortable to you. So we also can share on social media. Now, it's easier to sell to people who actually want to hear from you than interrupting people that don't. So don't spam people, that's a huge thing. Treat others like you wanna be treated. When people try and spam me or they friend me and I look at their little profile and I see that they're in a certain company because all of their feed is that company, I'm like, eh, I won't friend them because I know exactly what they're after. They're not wanting to friend me, they're wanting to prospect me. So treat others how you wanna be treated. Social media is that, it's a way for you to be social. So it's all about building relationships and adding value. So it says be active and interactive. What that means is put posts on there that are fun, that are unique to you, that are kind of building your brand and it, interact with other people's posts, like comment, you know, make sure people are seeing you on Facebook, build that presence of what your personality is and keep your social media to your lifestyle. Be authentic. You know, if you love wine posts, you love wine and have fun posts. If you love shoes or sewing or swimming or hiking, whatever it is, be authentic and show your lifestyle. We talked about this on the weekend, you know, posting a picture out with your business partners with a caption of daily adventures have become a way of life lately. So grateful. Or is it true you become like the five people you hang around with? Well, then I'm stepping up in the world. Love my hashtag RX family. Rather than a post like, you know, a bunch of you, I'm looking for five people like this who are smart, connected, and by the next time next year, this time next year, want to drive a Porsche. I mean, I wouldn't respond to that, but I would look at people that are having fun and say, oh yeah, I definitely want to be top five in a group. So before and afters as well, speak volume. Mary Beth just posted some before and afters today where she's lost 30 pounds and posted her personal testimony. We have Val uh, from the island. She's posted her before and afters. And so share your personal testimony because those people are getting tons and tons of people asking questions. And so the important thing is to remember to make your posts matter and they should generate emotion or interest. That's the key to social media. So Lori, do you want to talk a little bit about this? Oh, the follow-up system. We can do this one together. So a lot of, we might have known, uh, for those of us that have been around, um, for somebody to have an easy, easy um, way to follow up, we all say, oh my goodness, I can do so much of the other stuff. I really suck at follow-up. <clears throat> So what you, when you think you suck at something, you need to have a system. So print out 100 enrollment forms was a suggestion. Um, print out 100. Um, this is living as if. And as you meet people, contacts people, fill in the top part of it, their name, their phone number, their email address. Write the names of the, all the people that you would like to join you and have them in a filing system. On the back of the form, keep a tally of, of the date that you talked to them, maybe a product that you shared with them, or a video. And so then you know, because as Eric Warre says, the only reason for the first contact is to set up the next contact. So you're building a relationship in this, um, in this business. And keep a filing system month and day to keep it easy. Um, Tish, can you hold up that little box? Yeah. So, to set up inside of it this was t uh, TL's great filing system of having a box and some folders with days um, days of the week like 1 to 31 and then months from January to February and you kind of move it in a follow-up system so when you come to June first you're gonna pull out a little file that's June 1st and you're gonna see everybody because you've diarized I talked to this person three months ago three months is when I said I'd call them and when you say you're gonna call them make sure you follow through so this is a great way to keep your word on that if you talk to somebody and it's just not a good time for them and you say hey let's touch base in a couple of weeks well in a couple of weeks from when you talk to them if you pull their name out on a piece of paper you're gonna do that and they're gonna go, oh my gosh, I don't believe they remembered them. Now it still may not be a good time. Another couple of weeks, put them two weeks down, figure out where that is. It just makes the follow-up a lot simpler because the fortune is in the follow-up. We know that. Lots of people are, oh, I would have joined you, but you never called me back. So I joined the other person that called me and was, you know, not a pest, but did do their follow-up and called when they said they would. Find a system that works for you a book, an app, or a spreadsheet. Um, 
it's got to be comfort to you. I'm a pen and paper person, so this resonates with me. I also use my day timer um, to that keeps me going because I have so many things on on the go. Some other people work well in a computer and a spreadsheet. That's just not me. So find your way. You know, I wish I would have been taught this from the beginning because from the very minute you join and you start sharing with people, you need to be writing down a follow up system. And when I joined, there were 16 bottles and I got my bottles out in five days. And I had people trying and then I had some friends join. They couldn't, you know, share as fast as I could. So I'm sharing some of their bottles for them. And, and I didn't even know half the time who I shared with because your head's spinning. And so even though I sold someone a bottle, I didn't follow up. They did join with other people later because I didn't check back with them. So my bad, my mistake, my lesson, and now we want to help others not make that same mistake. So the minute you start talking to anyone, if you invite someone to your home launch, they say, I can't make it, write their name on a piece of paper, write when you invited them, and in two or three days, say to them, do you mind if I contact you in a couple days then so we can get some information to you then, and you start your filing system immediately however that might work for you. It's going to change your business. So I wish I'd have learned that from the beginning. <laughs> so other things to help get your business going is this. In your X office, when you log in, there is what's called a BOS training, which is a business orientation system. When you join as a brand new RX distributor, you're going to get a hard copy of it in a beautiful box that you can have. But there's also more training and videos for you to learn. There's product, there's how to share, there's about the company and the owners, and there's some other personal development stuff in there. So check that out. You also earn points for that because there's an RX reward system. So go through each one of those videos and get your points. You also want to have yourself get introduced to at least three of your uplines. So three generations up, okay? Because those three generations above you are in your money. So when they help you make money, they're gonna get rewarded. So you wanna be working with at least three generations of your upline. And now, as your team grows, you wanna be calling at least three generations deep to introduce yourself and offer support. So if everyone's three generations deep, there should never be a break in health, okay? So that's where that part of learning to teach as you go, you'll get on track for that. And keep your package receipts. This is important, so if you order, say, the water filter or the air filter and it comes with a packaging slip keep that because that's part of your warranty you're gonna need that but if you're using you know skin sincerity and you've used it all you can get rid of that receipt because you've used the product that's consumed so keep it for warranty purposes or if you're selling product to people keep that as well because that's their 30-day or 60-day money-back guarantee depending if it's skin sincerity or maybe the drops okay so those are some other tips just to Give you some heads up on now Lori you and I both know this has been the key to our business so do you want to share a little bit about getting connected yeah getting connected keeping connected that's gonna be the key to your business even if you've like if real life is getting in if life is getting in the way or you get distracted if you can just at least keep connected you're gonna stay in the game so social media uh, facebook.com with rx corporate they make amazing posts little videos they just put out a little video the other day on skincerity i thought it was awesome i really enjoyed it um, twitter um and at rx corporate instagram um, plus get connected with your team pages and WhatsApp groups if they have them. So I know that it can be overwhelming. There's so many groups. So be selective with what you recommend to your new person as they've been around longer, they can get it joined into more. Um, but everybody has team pages, training pages, um, just have them so that they can feel informed and start to learn for themselves. Uh, there's an RX blog, there's calls, there's webinars. Again, it's a matter of getting them connected to the right pages so they can see the information like this call, like this Zoom. That is exactly how this was advertised out there. So Mondays at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, there's a getting started Zoom that's done by corporate. Um, and the number always stays the same. So you jot that down, even take a screenshot of this page. Um, as a way to to keep all these numbers at your fingertips. Um, Rx Live is every Tuesday at five, um, and the Zoom number again stays the same. Plus, you get an email for this one. Um, I have really been enjoying this because it gives you some tidbits from Rx people 
talking about their products, which we're just starting to learn. So we all know that until we're developing our own stories, um, we can borrow some information from other people's stories. And Wednesday, TL is doing an ep 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 TL Epic Biz Op. Um, she's actually doing it right now as a training for people to get familiar sharing the new products um, at seven o'clock um, Mountain Standard Time, and there is TL's number, and the Morning Momentum call. This call on its own changed my business. For the first year or so that I was here, I people kept telling me to get on that call and I'll be like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know why I didn't do it. And then the day that I did, I was like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been doing this all along? It's made a difference in my business. Um, getting up at starting my day with positive momentum and positive energy and just waking up and seeing all of my friends in the morning, it really did change my business. So if you can't make it seven days a week, make it as many as you can. Love keeping connected. And of course, events. And events, absolutely. And morning momentum call is kind of like, okay, business hours are starting now. And yeah. your business, it gives you a, a time of day to start. So I love it too. You know, I'm going to touch briefly on our compensation plan because when I started, I didn't know much about the compensation plan. I didn't understand it, but I did understand if I learned and if I shared, I would take part in the compensation plan. So remember, learn, share, and you're going to take part in this. So how do you maximize the Activate Comp plan? Well, you get your spot. And so if you're on this call, you just got started, you've already done that part, you made that decision. Then you want to get active. You want to activate that position with at least 200 personal volume points, okay? That gets your position active. And then all you have to do to stay commission qualified is to every four weeks set up an auto delivery for 100 personal volume points. You're going to get 15% off by doing that, and you're never going to miss a paycheck. So that's number one, get your spot. Number two, activate it and get on auto delivery. And number three, we want you to reach your business level. So each business level unlocks a host of valuable enhancements available for a lifetime in your business. So that's key. We want to teach you what levels unlock what so that you understand what you have a chance to either earn or purchase by a certain time. So we talked about those four week and eight week goals. And just so you know, if you're new on the call, personal volume is equivalent to whatever you purchase or through your customer sales. And so how are your benefits? So when you come in and we get active, now this says 150, but they've actually changed. This is a slide. It's 200 to get activated, like we just said. Then you can get a business level, an elite level, or an ultimate level. And each one of those levels are personal volume points. So 200 personal volume points activated, 500 business activated, 1,000 points for elite, and ultimate is 1,500. Now that's either purchased volume by you or your customers. And you have four weeks to do this, okay? So say you come in and you say, I'm going to get active with the business right now because I want the 2X status. As you can see, the third line down says 2X status because that's going to give me 15% more off of my products. So if I'm on auto delivery and on business level, I'm going to get 30% off of my product. So right there, I love a sale. So I'm doing that one. And you're also going to get a few other things and you're going to make 20% off of every first order in the first 30 days of your new prospect. So now I know I'm going to enroll people. So say the person that joins me, comes in with the business, I'm going to make 20% off their 500 volume. So I'm instantly going to make, is that $100? I'm going to make $100 for one person joining me with a business pack. And they can pick 500 points of whatever products it is they want. So make sure you're maximizing your effort. Because if I came in and just got activated, I'd only make 15% off of them. And I would only and I wouldn't be getting that 15% saving. So as you're building this business, make sure you're going to do some activities that are gonna be able to maximize the effort that you're doing. So there's three key milestones. Yeah, go on. I have a question. Yeah. So if I come in with that business level and let's say a couple of two weeks later, I, I decide that I don't have enough product because now I wanna try the other half that I didn't have a chance to buy. And if I buy that again, is that going to get me closer? Is that going to bump me up to elite? 
that will bump you up to elite, absolutely. And if you've had someone join you as a business partner at that 500, and you've bought another 500, so you've bought 1,000, they bought 500 in those four weeks, you're actually at ultimate because they've joined you and you now are at that 1,500 points. So now you're gonna maximize the comp plan with the 2X status, you're gonna get coaching, you're gonna get compliance, you're gonna get power reentry, and you're also then gonna get 30% of everybody you enroll for a lifetime, 30% of all their volume for the first wow. 30 days they're in, right? So instead of yeah. a business pack at 100, you're actually going to make uh, $150 because you've now bumped up. So you're gonna make more money for doing the exact same effort to bring somebody in. So that's the difference in those packages. I hope that makes sense to everybody. So we do have some milestones that we want people to reach and we just kind of touched on it. So in your first four weeks, we want you to reach that ultimate, which we just talked about, to get to the 1,500 personal volume points because that's going to give you that 30% on your team lead bonus. It's also going to give you additional pay lines to build with later. We start everyone building with two, but you can build up to five lines as your business goes. In your eight weeks, we want you to achieve gold status. And gold status is what we talked about for three generations of matching bonus. So this is big. When you enroll four people, in your first eight weeks, you automatically get gold status. So that's why we talk about first four people, that's why we talk about 1,500 volume points, and that's why we talk about three generations of matching bonus because you want your three generations above you helping, and then you wanna build three generations below and helping them, and if everybody do does that, everybody's in the magic money. And we want everyone to get their 2X, which doubles those bonuses, and get you that additional 15% off. And that starts at the business level that we mentioned, which is that 500 volume package. Are we clear on that, Lori? Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. I know what I, I would come in with. Me too. <laughs> and I think I've bought about that since joining. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So do you wanna cover this a little bit? Sure, your journey begins now. The other thing that I've learned in my six years is you know what, make it fun make it fun, work together, um, ask for help because everybody wants to help. We all want to help each other. It doesn't matter who they are, um, what line they're in, what everything is out there. Everybody is out there willing to help everybody. Stay connected, use the products, be interested, not interesting. And that is a key one. You know, just talking about you know, using I, 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 be interested in what's going to make other people um, tick. Talking about something that is, you know, um, weight loss and you know what, it's not their thing. There's no sense. Find out what interests them. Make friends, don't lose them. I, I you know, it, it can be a little bit difficult because if you go out there and you don't use the tools that we have in front of us, um, you can run out and have the uh, whole diarrhea thing all over people and vomit and you don't, they just go running. So find, find four people who find four people who find four people. Who find four people who find four people who find four people. That makes sense, four people. Makes sense. And do it in eight weeks so everybody gets the two X, that gold, the three generations, it's magic. So start finally, your business right. What's that? Start your business off right. Absolutely. Finally, I love this quote. And I heard it in one of the boss trainings that we talked about in the X office. And it's by Fred Cooper, who is the CEO of our company. Whoever talks to the most people wins. So that's your job. Go talk to the most people and you will win at this network marketing. So Lori, I wanna thank you so much for helping me with this tonight. We'd like to thank all of the brand new distributors and everybody that joined the call. And we will be doing this again and again and again to help people keep their business on track, to keep growing and to keep learning because that's what we're here to do is learn. So thank you everyone for being here. Thanks Lori. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you everybody.